Hi everybody, this is Ron Taylor with the Rough Cut Overview. Today we're looking at Ephesians chapter 3. Um, I'm, this, this particular chapter, uh, Paul is addressing uh, his revelation, which is something that's not even been on the earth before, uh, that God would uh, take Jesus Christ and out of him bring about uh, the doors being flung wide open to both Jew and Gentile. Because while the Jews may have thought they measured up, they actually didn't. And while the Gentiles thought they were outcasts, they actually weren't. So that all were included in this redemption. And then he, he prays for the church to get uh, a revelation of this on a very personal level. And to be strengthened and refreshed in it. So this is going to be a quick overview of the chapter. Uh, Paul's revelation is beyond anything uh, previous to his day that Jesus made all of all nations one new man. Uh, Jewish nation, like I said earlier, uh, all the Gentile nations, uh, one new man came forward. It's it's Jesus Christ, buried, uh, crucified, buried, raised from the dead. Okay, all were in him. If one man died for all, then all died. Then all were raised. It says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the Jew and the Greek have been consumed in him. Uh, and then he, he prays a super powerful prayer uh, for revelation to be unlocked in the uh, individual uh, members of the church. He says, strengthen, Lord, strengthen, strengthen them. I, I like saying strengthen us because we all need strength, right? Strengthen us with might by your spirit in the inner man so that Christ may dwell in our hearts by faith that we being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, length, depth, and height. It's cute, by the way. And to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, is beyond, beyond anything we can intellectually conceive. This spiritual knowledge is far, far beyond. It's like, um, it'd be like uh, trying to race a, a Porsche 911 with a bicycle in comparison. There, there's no, no real comparison to it. We know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that we might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly and be of all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, not according to the power that can work in us, that has worked in us before, the, the power that is continually working in us. Unto him be the glory in the, in the church throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. So that's a that's a short chapter in the sense that there's there's maybe one or two subjects covered you got paul's revelation you got the inclusion then you have the prayer but that prayer is is uh atomic in nature um uh, this prayer the prayer from chapter one paul's uh prayer and other uh letters that he wrote to the churches pray them uh you know maybe you don't understand everything it's nobody understands everything about uh, any, any given scripture there is no master of john three sixteen. jesus wept john eleven thirty five. 35 shortest verse in the bible it is so loaded with stuff we'll be mining stuff out of there for all eternity so i'm telling you you don't have to understand all of it to pray it you pray it over you, yourself you pray it over your family and expect god to bring about the results because that's why it's there so you can pray for it so you can discover it so you can pray and so you can receive the blessings of it, the benefits. All right. So that's it for chapter three. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.